Welcome, young people, to the next edition, the next episode of Papa Yosa's Online Preschool. Before we get started, I do want to talk about my outfit. You're going to notice it's the same outfit from yesterday. You're going to think maybe Papa Yosa isn't changing his clothes. Maybe Papa Yosa wears the same outfit every day. I'm not going to say that's true. I'm not going to say that's false. What I am going to say is if you want to sponsor this show, reach out to me and we can get some new clothes. But until then, these are my clothes I'll be wearing in every episode. I'm also willing to wear some sponsorship patches. Enough of that. We're here to learn. And what are we going to learn today, kids? Anyone? Anyone? That's right. Kangaroos. What the heck do they put in their pouches? I happen to have a kangaroo here. Uh, she's nicely allowing me to have her pouch. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what's in there. We'll ask her a few questions if need be. Hold on one second while I get this lady's pouch. <sighs> Here's a kangaroo pouch. Looks a little different than normal kangaroo pouch. But that's because usually it's hooked to the kangaroo. This is how they look when they're not on a kangaroo. So let's see what they have in there, folks. Let's learn. First item, roll of toilet paper. Let's find, now why do we have this in here, lady kangaroo? Hmm, hmm, interesting. It's to wipe their butts. So they use this right on their butts. You know, kind of the same thing we do. I was wondering just how it is. She says she has plenty, but they use a lot more because they got to wrap it around their tails. <coughs> kind of wipe the butts. Does anyone else uh, want to guess? You know, what else is in the pouch? Any guesses? A zebra? No, not a, probably not a zebra. Zebra's a little bigger. That's a good, uh, good try. Empty water bottle. Hmm. Kind of looks like just a regular bottle like we have, you know, humans. Let's find out from the uh, lady kangaroo what they use it for. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So anyway, kangaroos carry these in their pouches, take them to the store, fill them up with milk. That way their babies can have some milk. Fill these with milk, give them to their babies. Their babies drink them. She said if they behave, they get chocolate milk, but not towards bedtime, because then they get crazy. They get insane. And she doesn't like that. She doesn't have a lot of patience for that. I'm ad-libbing a little bit. She didn't say all that. Let's see what else she has in here. Fancy old spoon. What's fancy old spoon for? Oh, this is a weapon to beat other, yeah, to beat other kangaroos with if they try stealing their Oreos or any kind of cookies or good delicious desserts. Um, this particular kangaroo is with child and uh, really, really possessive for their sweets, of course. And this spoon's for beating other kangaroos. That makes perfect sense. Got two at once. Squeezable grape jelly, looks like from Kroger, and some hand sanitizer. So, I mean, ask the source here. Mm hmm. What do you guys think these are for? Any kids out there wonder why these are together and what they're for? Well, you don't want dirty hands. See, so she puts this all over her paws. And she runs around in the dirt. And she just eats this whole thing, even in the container. Pours it on her paws, runs around in dirt, eats the plastic grape jelly. Bizarre. Who knew? You guys don't do that, right? Right. 
And you eat the jelly on its own, just like people. Kangaroos, apparently, they eat the jar. Uh, you guys think they have anything else in there? You guys ready for our Ask Alexa uh, segment? Let's do it. Alexa, how many kangaroos are in the entire world? I don't know the population of kangaroos. However, their conservation status Alexa, is Alexa, 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 Alexa. Once again, you are totally useless to the show. It's a real simple question. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa, stop. I ask a question, just answer it, okay? There's definitely an answer. You're just being lazy. Anyway, children, back to class. Hope you guys are all learning a lot. Got a couple more items in the kangaroo's pouch. Hmm. It's a classic cherry chapstick. It's for her lips. She just says she likes her lips to be uh, not dry. And uh, chapstick. Makes sense, I guess. I was hoping for something cooler, but it's not. Let's see those in here. Ugh. Yost is online preschool. It's a chicken. This isn't a regular chicken. Let me find out what kind of chicken this is because I'm flabbergasted. Never did I think they would have a chicken in their pouch. I'm sure you didn't. I mean, you thought maybe like a beetle or a, a muskrat or something, but no, chicken. What do you use these for, these chickens, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, makes sense. Okay, when they're bored, they use these chickens for chicken fights. And I, I didn't know anything about chicken fighting, but everyone brings their chicken. They fight each other just for entertainment. I get, you know, everyone, we don't, they don't have cable. They don't have uh, Amazon Prime. They have none of these things. So apparently, good old fashioned chicken fighting. I had no idea. But we're learning things every day here at Papa Yost's Online Preschool. Whew. I'm starting to get tired. I don't know about you guys, it's been a long day, and I need to eat some snacks. I've got some banana bread, I need to eat some of that. I think I'm going to drink some juice boxes. I don't know about you guys. Get some juice boxes, get you some snacks, maybe listen, uh, listen to some music, but most importantly, listen to your cotton picking moms and dads. All right? It was nice seeing you again. I'm Papa Yosa's Online Preschool. Next time, next episode, we are going to learn about spiders. Why do the webs come out of their butts instead of their mouths? Spiders, why the webs are come out of their butts, not their mouths.